Good day, YouTube. Back with another video here. And on this video, uh, I'll be going over an issue that I ran into with the uh, corner ends here for the 1966 Chevy Impala. These are actually the rear quarter insides here. They actually come apart and it's a piece that is not fused together with the uh, rear panels. So due to that, I actually wanted to chrome out these two pieces here. But now the issue is that I've contacted three local chrome plating shops in my neighborhood. And uh, these pieces here are actually pot metal, which excludes them from being able to actually plate them. So I kind of thought, what can I do? Because I knew I did not want to paint them. I actually wanted them to be chrome. So I thought that, hmm, maybe I could powder coat them with some chrome powder, but then it would not have that same shiny appearance as the uh, bumpers will, which I've also ordered brand new just to give it a nicer look. So uh, pretty much try different scenarios to see what will work so i ended up stripping the whole part down to the uh, metal here as you can see i'm grinding down the old paint i did use an epoxy paint remover which removed the uh, first coating of the yellow paint but this primer here had a strong bond onto the pot metal which did soften a little but did not uh, actually do a good job in removing it so with the uh, Ryobi angle grinder here in these two inch pads I was able to actually give it a much more cleaner surface and as you can see it's doing a good job in removing that uh, real bonded layer of paint there now as you can see we have it down to the metal but on top of that with the outcome of the Ry Ryobi angle grinder as you can see there's just streak marks all over the uh, surface of the uh, panel of these two pieces here so i've decided to just how i would treat any body part on a vehicle I've decided to sand it down to actually smoothen out the surfaces a little better. And I started off with an 800 grit just to be a bit more aggressive with removing the uh, streaks and also some uh, areas where there were deeper scratches. Now that's the thing about pot metal. It's a much softer metal and it actually can be manipulated and this is what I've come to see with working with this part here so I thought hmm maybe if I polish this I could get a good shine out of it now pot metal is a metal that a lot of plating shops do not I guess deal with I don't really know what they deal with but as far as my situation they told me that it could not be done. They do not chrome plate pot metal, but uh, did not bring up any other options as far as, hey, we cannot plate it, but you can polish it. Now, towards the end of the video here, you will see the outcome of the uh, pot metal. And uh, I was just stunned. And... Uh, these two pieces here, when I did get an estimate from a plating shop, when I really actually thought that it was metal, which it wasn't, they quoted me at $375 for each corner, which is almost roughly $800 for both pieces. Now, you will see that at the end of this video, the vision that I actually saw for these two pieces is actually the uh, vision that I achieved. And uh, the, to me, they came out real nice. So back on to the process here. 
uh, I sand it down with an 800 grit just to kind of smoothen out the surfaces of the metal to also rid the surfaces of the uh, deep scratches because this is a softer metal. So you're more prone to scratches if you were to bump the material or just little nicks and knacks like that. It affects the metal on a greater level than steel. And then after the 800 grit, when I got it all down to a smoother surface, I ran it through a thousand grit. And then after the thousand, I gave it a good wipe down. And here, as you can see, I'm using a buffing pad. This is a two inch buffing pad with the same uh, Ryobi angle grinder that I used. And uh, as you can see, it's shiny as ever. And this is pot metal and it's, it actually resembles anything that I would say would, would be chrome plated here. But uh, I did get a good outcome as far as the shine. And as you can see, I'm kind of just wiping it down to remove the fingerprints. But this is it here. It does have a slight, I'd say very slight marks of the streaking, which I can probably give more attention to with a bit more of the uh, buffing with the uh, mother's uh, compound that I used to actually achieve what I got here. But uh, as you can see, it's pot metal, but it resembles the shine of the uh, bumpers. And I'm very happy with that. Now, moving on, because that process actually uh, came out. The outcome was actually great. I'm satisfied with it. And I actually saved nearly $800 by doing it this way. Now, moving on to the uh, strips here, which are the moldings, which clips on to the uh, two panels here. I've decided to also sand those down with a thousand grit and also give it a nice polish. But towards the center section of these moldings here, it had black paint, which is a common factory uh, application for these cars. But I've decided to do something a little different. I've polished it, and I'm going to run a green powder coating of the uh, green that I have here from the other parts which I've uh, powder coated. And uh, towards the end, you will see the outcome of these two combinations. It actually came out real great. Now, these are the uh, parts here after a second buffing. As you can see, the shine actually looks better. It resembles chrome. It's actually what I was looking for when I decided to actually want to chrome these parts out and not paint them as many other 66s out there. But uh, for the final, as you can see, these are the two front fender emblems, which I've also polished and powder coated just to give it a bit more of a different design with the color scheme that I'm going with. And this is the uh, sour apple green from Eastwood powder coating. As you can see from the combination, everything seems to have a much more symmetrical and even look. But uh, just wanted to bring this up. Pot metal can be chromed, which I did not know. Thank you, YouTube.